Good morning. Welcome to Anne Marina's Crochet and Tell. Welcome to my channel. I have this made up sign because I don't have one of those signs that everybody else has. So I just made my own little sign. This was made for me by a local person, Bo Anderson. I added the bamboo hooks, a me tape measure, a darning needle, some yarn, a row counter, some scissors, and some stitch markers on it to kind of decorate it and make it my own. I don't have my own little sign like this yet. Yet, because I, I want to have somebody make me one. But today, I want to show you some packages I got in the mail. And if this video does good, then I'll continue putting out videos. I had to figure out how to do them correctly. So until right now, we'll move this out of the way and we'll get to the first package. I already vote, I've already opened them and, and verified what's in the boxes to make sure that I got the correct things. You'll be surprised what's in this big old package here. That little package right there <laughs> that little package right there, right here, with my in it in there by itself, and these are little class closures for a uh, little dress I made for my doll, and some other object, other items I might want to make that needs closures. Okay, let's get that package out of the way. Let's get the next package open. This was ordered by someone I had a order with. She just PayPal'd me and I used up money towards this. I got me some uh, pocket dividers to put in my binder to organize my uh, loose Oh my goodness, help me. Um, patterns for. Okay, so I'm going to organize them into these little dividers with pockets. Okay, and then I see all these people making uh, stitch markers. So I ordered me a little kit. Let's see what's in it. Okay, this little kit. Some kind of plastic. Okay. Some wire. Looks like some more type of wire. Clear. Some needle nose pliers. case of some closures and some backings and things to make jewelry. It's a jewelry maker, but I'm going to use it for making uh, stitch markers. Okay. And then some long tweezers. And it has this little booklet in there of what it come came with and then so far what I see and then it shows in here is in the box okay so I'll put that to the side so that's correct in that package our next package I got to get me some goodies to continue making things. My husband let me order a few things. Got me some of these fur pom-poms. I'll pause this so I can open that up. All right, I emptied them out of that little 
bag, it, that, that bag tour anyway. The one that they were in, not the outer bag. I'm going to save that outer bag to put them back in. But they remind me of, what? remember those toys called Poppables? They kind of remind me of the Poppables. Or have you ever seen the movie Gremlins where uh, he gets wet and they start popping off of him? Mm. <laughs> That's kind of remind me of those too. I'm going to pause it again. Get to the next items. Okay. I put them back in the outer bag. Okay. And then I got me some buttons. Can't ever have too many buttons. So I ordered me a big old bag of buttons. And I'll put everything down in the description box. I got everything off of Amazon. It was on my wish list and my husband let me, uh, said order you some things to continue your crochet business. So there's me some buttons. And I also do some sewing. And I needed some bobbins so I ordered me some bobbins for my thread. Might do other crafts with those too, maybe. I don't know. But look inside, it has a little mustache uh, in there. I thought that was neat. And then another item. Need some ribbon. So I ordered me a box of ribbon. Um, Eighteen rolls, it says. It's not coming in clear. I'll leave everything in the description box, like I said. I had to get some ribbon so I can make some pretty things with ribbon. And then, you know, people like to have their baby toys, like a rattle, or um, I make Christmas angels or the add some bells to to make them jingle i'm gonna get this open just one second all right i went i went ahead and took the ribbon out that box so we could look at it better there's silver gold green blues peach black orange that's over there's glittery this over down here or gray i guess silver or gray uh gray dark gray <laughs> purple, uh, pink, yellow, uh, not sure what that color is right there. Uh, different silver, pink, green, white, blue, red, and a dark red for my ribbon. Okay. And then, like I said, I got me some bells to add into some baby toys to make them jingle and I had mentioned I make angels and this is an angel that I made last year last Christmas this past Christmas I'm gonna add a bell to it so it's a ding jingle thing about making some bells and, and adding the bells <laughs> to make it jingle this pattern I got off of YouTube and I'll see if I can link that in the description box below I used um, Hold on a second. If I can find it, where'd it go? There it is. I used this, this one, uh, cotton. It's a two weight cotton. Recommended hook size, all that right there. And what I did to make it green, I also have pink, yellow, blue. I use this, but I hand dyed it in some food coloring. That's how it turned out. And then I also used for the silver, I ordered some gold uh, yarn, yarn and the silver yarn to trim them with and this one I made with green and the 
silver trim. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of spotty because I, you know, I don't, I'm not a professional hand dyer. It was my first time hand dyeing anything, but I think she's pretty. I think she's perfect the way she is. Oh, and there's the silver around the head as well. And then I made some that was just a solid uh, color, whatever the order was for them. That's what I made, but this one was for me. I'm going to add, a, like I said, a, a bell in there to make her jingle and put her on the tree this coming year. Okay, let's get to the next box. All right, last but not least, like I said, I do some sewing. I have a sewing machine that I have kept in its box and have been putting it in and out of its box since I started using it. I was able to get me a sewing machine bag on the side it said this this color was red um it's more of a pink color to me let's open it up and see what's all in here i'll pause it because some people don't like to crinkle all right i got it up and open it has an outer pocket to hold things in big big wide open space for the sewing machine to sit in and I'll put that in there um I'm not quite sure about this it's open space I'm not sure it didn't come with an, uh, any paperwork or anything in the box or the bag to tell me what everything is so I'll have to look that up um and this small bag I presume is for the foot pedal it's beautiful love the colors like I said it's a pink color and on the website it said red and it's like mm, that don't look red to me so let's put our, our sewing machine in there it's, this is the sewing machine I have. My husband got me for Christmas, mm, I'd say two or three years ago. This is, I love it. Easy to use. And I learned how to sew and crochet. Uh, through my Mima, and then what she didn't teach me some friends taught me and uh, patterns and friends there's my sewing machine let's put that in the bag and see how it fits one second all right I got the press foot pedal in the little bag and I'm gonna put it in the side pocket here. Excuse the floor. Then I have the sewing machine in here. And then I forgot to mention that the handles here, well, this one's like this. And the other one has a Velcro. That way when you carry it around, it, it kind of gives you a better closure and comfort with your hand of carrying around. Now you might ask me why I have been putting it in and out of the box and not just leaving it out. We live in a tiny apartment and keeping it out on our table would be in the way. So as I need it, I put it, bring it out, do my sewing and put it away. One moment, I'll close this up. All right, since my last video, I've been a little busy. I'll show you all some whips. My granddaughter, she, I can't remember how old she is. Six, seven years old. Already said that she wants to be a marine biologist. So she's asked me to make her some little animals. So I made her an octopus. Cor I used a coral colored yarn. So I named her Coral. There's a little orange in this video. 
but it, it, it's a coral color. It's a I love this cotton by Hobby Lobby, and I used the safety eyes and made the mouth. It's kind of crooked, but it's okay. It's cute. And the white is a mercerized cotton white. Um, I can. I'll link the patterns down below. And then I also made her Miss Crab. Following, the, and that's a diff, just, just a little bit different color than the coral. Like I said, I'll try to link the, all the colors and everything I used down below. Now this red is a, 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 a red heart yarn. I don't have the label for her, so I won't be able to share that. Uh, some yarn I inherited from my grandmother, my mima, when she passed away. And I don't have yarn labels for on some of those. And this was another uh, Isla. Uh, I love this cotton uh, Hobby Lobby yarn. Like I said, I'll post everything down below if I can figure it out. I'm going to use safety eyes. The safety eyes are from Amazon. I have, I've had uh, okay a shark it's a red heart super saver gray and white I don't have yarn uh, labels yarn labels for stingray I think it came out adorable this is telling me I'm almost out of room for my video. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but everything I'll, I'm showing here, my whips, or not whips, my finished objects, um, I'll link down below. Then for Mother's Day, I made a prayer cloth out of some cotton, and I made a 